Hello, my dear ones. This will be a short video, and I ask for your understanding and for your forgiveness. My strength is um, <clears throat> slowly disappearing again, and I do not want to push myself until I end up in a hospital once more. We have had a very busy year, and we have worked so hard, all of us, Every single one of our brothers and our sisters have worked so hard and I am so grateful to God for their obedience and for their determination to do what is necessary so that the community, the monastery and everyone who benefits from this work can move forward and grow by the grace of God. <clears throat> but as we reach the end of the summer and the end of my strength, and as we approach the time to go to Romania to visit all those wonderful monasteries in Moldavia, as we do every single year uh, in our annual pilgrimage there, I think it is the right time to take a short break. So I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to record our next video probably towards the end of September. So it's not going to be a long break, about a month and a week or something like that. But we really have done so much. On Iona and at Kelninian on the Isle of Mal. On Iona we are now <clears throat> starting work to replace the heating system. We don't have any heating, we don't have any hot water um, in the kitchen. There is no real cooking facility as all our pilgrims have seen. We've also managed, by the grace of God, to build our small chapel on Iona this year. And then at Kilninian, we are now working, <clears throat> we've got building works in the loft of the house where mothers live, so that we can expand the attic into more living space. And also maybe, if possible, a workshop, a small workshop for the mothers. And that has taken a few good months of building work and we are still progressing with it. And also at Kilninian, we have managed to build a small dining room, a small public dining room, which is the Romanian and actually also Greek tradition. We call it a trapeza, so that all our pilgrims <clears throat> and uh, those who come and attend church with us on a regular basis, we have a public space to meet so we can eat together after the Divine Liturgy. This is all on top of the small stuff, such as fencing the property around Kilninian, building a <clears throat> berry cage so that all our delicious berries have a better place to live. All, this, all the usual things that in and of themselves would have filled a good year. <clears throat> on top of those, we've had all this building work and our beautiful pilgrimages. So we are all tired. We are all just exploding with gratitude for God's help and for your, your support, because without your support, none of this would have been possible. But <clears throat> in order for this to be sustainable and in order for this to last for as long as God wants us to last and to work here, uh, and so that we don't drive ourselves into an early grave, we do need to take a break from time to time. So this is me not disappearing like last time, not disappearing for more than a year, but simply saying goodbye for about a month and a week or so. And um, <clears throat> I promise I shall pray for you in Moldavia. I promise we shall do our best to post photographs from all those hundreds of monasteries and holy relics and icons and frescoes and thousands and thousands of, you know, uh, monastic communities, monks and nuns surrounding us. And uh, <clears throat> when we come back, by the grace of God, we are going to be filled with beautiful memories and all that grace that we always get in that part of the world. We all thank you for everything you are doing for us, we all thank you for all the support you have offered and all the support you are offering to make this work possible. We all keep you in our prayers and we ask God to bless every ounce of your being, every ounce of your body. Keep us in your prayers, 
beloved ones. And may God bless all of us without exception. Amen. Amen. Amen.